In this astrofictionary math problem, we're going to look at a neutron star's luminosity, temperature, and size. We're given a neutron star in PSR B0943 plus 10, which has a luminosity of 1.3 E minus 5 solar luminosities and a 3.1 million Kelvin surface temperature. We would like to find A, the approximate radius of the neutron star compared to that of the sun, and B, a neutron star radius in kilometers given that the sun's radius is 696340 kilometers. We're given this equation where the luminosity of the neutron star divided by the luminosity of the sun is equal to parentheses the radius of the neutron star divided by the radius of the sun, which is 696340 kilometers, close parentheses squared, is equal to the temperature of the neutron star in Kelvin divided by 5780 Kelvin, close parentheses to the fourth power. So here's our solution for part A. We have one, we're going to substitute in for the luminosity of the neutron star. So we have 1.3 times 10 to the minus fifth solar luminosities divided by one solar luminosity, and that is equal to close parentheses, radius of the neutron star divided by one solar radius, close parentheses squared, open parentheses, 3.1 times 10 to the sixth Kelvin. Since we have 3.1 million Kelvin, and million is 10 to the six divided by the temperature of the sun, which is 5780 Kelvin on its surface to the fourth power. So now we can get rid of like variables. We can get rid of the luminosity of the sun, both in the top and the denominator, and we can get rid of Kelvin. And now let's calculate this bright equation part. It's 3.1 times 10 to the six divided by 5780. So we go to our calculator in Google such as this one that I find, and then we want to divide by 5780. We hit the equal sign, and we want to take it to the fourth power. So we say x to the y, fourth power, equal to, and we have a value of 8.3 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8.3 times 10 to the 10th. So let's write that in there. 8.3 times 10 to the 10th, and it doesn't have any units because Kelvin dropped out. So we just have a unitless number. But now we want to divide both sides of the equation by 8.3 times 10 to the minus, times 10 to the 10th. So we can get rid of this on the right hand side of the equation. So we're going to take 1 divided by 8.3 times 10 to the 10th on the right hand side of the equation. So let's carry that down. So we can see that on the right hand side of the equation they disappear and on the left hand side of the equation we have to multiply by 1.3 times 10 to the minus fifth. So this is the first thing we want to do is we want to divide by 8.3 times 10 to the 10th. So right now we've got 8.3 times 10 to the 10th. We want to take it to the minus one power. And the reason being is because it's one divided by. So we want to take it to the minus one power and we hit equal sign. We get 1.2 times 10 to the minus 11th, but we need to multiply it by 1.3 times 10 to the minus fifth. So we hit multiply 1.3 e minus 5, and we hit equal sign, and we get about 1.6 times 10 to the minus 16th. So we have a 1.6 times 10 to the minus 16th on the left-hand side. Let's confirm. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 16th. So we did everything multiplied on the left-hand side. And we're left with the radius of the neutron star divided by the radius of the sun squared. So now we got to take the square root on both sides. And we will be left with the radius of the neutron star relative to the radius of the sun And so now we need to take the square root. 
So we say x to the y, 0.5, and we get a value of about 1.3 times 10 to the minus 8. And that's our answer for the first part of the question. Part A asks for what is the radius of the neutron star relative to that of the sun, and we have a value of about 10 to the minus 8. So we can see that it's a very small star. Now in part B, we want to solve for the radius of the neutron star. So we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the radius of the sun. So that would be 1.3 times 10 to the minus 8, which is the value we found. And then we need to multiply it by 696340. And the units there are kilometers. So we multiply it by 696 340. We get a value of about 0 0.009 kilometers, which is a very small size. Let's put this in terms of meters. So let's build our railroad track. In one kilometer, we have 1,000 meters. So let's go ahead and put 1,000 meters in the top. And then now we need to multiply our answer by 1,000. And we hit equal, and we have a value around 8.7 is our answer in meters. So you can see that the radius of a neutron star is about the size of a city. It's not very big. And that is our unit, our answer, in terms of meters. But what did they ask for? They asked for uh, the sun's radius in units of kilometers. So that was the very first part that we found. So I'll put a railroad track around this one and a box. So now we know the answer. It's around 0 0.009 kilometers or roughly 8.7 meters. A neutron star is very small. It's much smaller than the size of a white dwarf. A white dwarf is about the size of, a, of planet Earth. And a neutron star is about the size of a city on planet Earth.